Hi, my name is Matt Parsons, and I'm going to talk about good failure. No one wants to fail at anything, but it's a part of life. We all want things to go smoothly, and the rejection that you feel is heartbreaking. When you fail, it feels like the whole world just doesn't make sense to you anymore. Whether you studied for a test and failed, or went to that job interview or promotion and didn't get it. The key is always to keep a positive attitude and learn from those mistakes that you made and never give up. Every defeat is a lesson that can be learned and dissected to create a new view towards the goals that you failed. Without failure, you can never know your weakness and true dedication to your goals. Failure is good for success because it keeps you modest and it teaches you what you did wrong and how to improve on those weak areas. Once this is evaluated, then you'll be able to master your skills and keep on persevering. I've failed more times than I can count in my life. I've dealt with a myriad of upsets, but I took each opportunity as a great learning experience. When I worked at one of my previous jobs, there was a team lead position that opened up. I applied for the position, and soon after that, I had an interview. During the interview, I was confident. I had the knowledge and the skills to give one of the best interviews that I'd ever had. All my teammates were sure that the position was going to be given to me. I felt like the world was mine until I received an email stating that the position would be filled by somebody else. This is heartbreaking for me because I thought I was the best candidate for the job. So I asked the supervisor if he could give me a review and feedback on my interview. During the review, I wrote thorough notes on what needed to be improved in my interview and work history. When I received this feedback, it helped me become a more efficient worker and interviewer. If I'd not asked for this feedback during my first interview, then I'm positive that I would have not gotten another interview when the second position opened up a month later. Most of my friends had a fixed mindset after I was rejected the first time. They would tell me that I shouldn't apply again because I didn't get it the first time. What they failed to understand was that I had asked for feedback about the first interview and I'd use that information that was given to me so I could learn from my failure and I decided that each failure would be a perfect learning experience to correct any issues that I had previously encountered. There's a paraphrase of it that says, Life's greatest teachers are failure and defeat. But most people won't know that because they don't want to take the risk. This paraphrase from The Power of Taking Risk, Making Mistakes, and Thinking Big, Heath, 2009. So I decided that I'd be a risk taker and step out of my comfort zone and I would let failure and defeat become a teacher. I would also become dedicated to getting that promotion. During my initial feedback that I requested, I remained positive and I didn't take anything personal. I took notes down on everything that was presented to me, both positive and negative. After I received this feedback, I began to critique myself and improve on any of my shortfalls. I knew that each failure would bring me closer to achieving my goal. I didn't want to fail, but failure did mean that I could get more feedback to perfect any shortfalls. This research helped me keep myself modest in my presentation of myself, and I'm glad that I was able to critique myself by taking this step. In fact, we're so focused on not failing that we don't aim for success, settling instead for a life of mediocrity. When we do take missteps, we gloss over them, selectively editing out the miscalculations or mistakes in our life's resume. That's from 2016. When I applied again a month later, I put the previous information to good use and corrected my shortfalls from the last interview. I would not let failure affect me, and I took that approach for my next interview. I stayed confident and positive during the interview. I fe felt great about it. And this time I knew how to perfect my interviewing skills. And a month later, I accepted the promotion to team lead. Failure helped me achieve my promotion because I was willing to look at it as a lesson for success. Throughout my life, I've looked at every failure as a chance to analyze my weakness. Failure is good for success because it gives us the option to weed out any ideas that we initially thought were good techniques. And when those techniques fail, you shouldn't give up. You should take a step back, figure out 
what didn't work the first time and find a solution for the next time. I was able to master my skills because of the first failure I had. And my eyes were open the second time. Failure is not the end of the world. And if you like, it can be a doorway to new opportunities for you to explore. All you have to do is treat it as a learning experience and you will succeed.